Hello everyone, this is Bluebell, and I'm back to read you Chapter 7 of Zack Power, Mega Mission 2, Code Red by H.I. Larry. Just a little recap. Agent Rockstar, Zack Power, is disguised as Agent Checkmate in this yucky mask. And he's gone into the forbidden zone. So he's passed as a disguise as Agent Checkmate, but he wasn't allowed access into one of the top secret zones. So let's see what happens. Has he tricked the boss? Agent Big Boss, that is. Let's find out. Chapter 7. Right this way, Agent Checkmate. The GIB security agents had escorted Zack down to level 52. They had led him into a tiny waiting room with an even tinier bench in the corner. Have a seat, said the brown-haired woman from TSZ. That's a top secret zone. Zack sat down. How in the world was he going to get out of this one? You'd better have a very good explanation for all of this, said the woman. I do, said Zack quickly. <sighs> to come up with trying to think of coming to, oh, trying to come up with something quickly. But at that moment, Agent Big Boss burst into the room. Sir, the woman beamed. We found Agent Checkmate sneaking around inside the Invisibles Department. That's not Agent Checkmate, said Big Boss. He marched up to Zack and ripped off his mask. Agent Rockstar. Agent Rockstar, the woman gaped. How did, did you... How did you, Zack began. We found these in the bathroom on level 53, said Big Boss. He held up the clothes that Zack had changed out of earlier that day. They were still covered in fake blood. Zack could have kicked himself. He'd been so distracted by the agent outside the bathroom that he'd forgotten to hide his old clothes after he'd got changed. You need to learn to cover your tracks, Rockstar, Agent Big Boss said. Now then, where is it? Where is what? replied Zack, playing dumb. Don't give me that, Agent Big Boss said angrily. I know you've taken the hollow projector. Now where is it? Zack stared down at his feet. Oh, this was like being hauled into the principal's office only a hundred times worse. Sir, said the woman, I caught him standing with his hand in the garbage chute. Agent Big Boss turned in to one of the security agents. I want a complete search of the garbage disposal system, he ordered. Find me that hollow projector. The security agent nodded and left the room. Agent Big Boss turned to Zack. Never in a million years, he said furiously, would I have imagined that our finest spy would turn against his own agency. What? No! Zack protested, looking up at Big Boss. I well, it wasn't. You disobeyed a direct order from GIB, said Agent Big Boss angrily. You sneaked into top secret zone. Stolen GIB property. Sir, please, said Zack des desperately. Oh, just let me explain. But Agent Big Boss didn't want to hear it. Your parents have been informed of the situation. He went on, ignoring Zack. 
Wait here until we decide what to do with you. He walked to the door, getting ready to leave. And Rockstar, he added, you could be suspended from spying for this. Don't try anything foolish. One hour later, Zach was sitting all alone in the little room, waiting for GIB to decide his fate. Oopsies. He glanced at his watch. In just over three days, the big agent, Zach Power, was was um, going to set off the tech blaster and destroy all of GIB's work. And here was a real Zach stuck inside GIB headquarters with everyone acting like he was the bad guy. <laughs> his spy pad was just buzzed. Zach hit the answer button. Zach, said Leon, what happened? Leon, I am so busted, said Zach, caught in the top secret time zone. What? <sighs> what? No way, said Leon, sounding shocked. They wouldn't. Ah, oh, you didn't see the look on Agent Big Boss's face, said Zack. Well, we can't, we can worry about that later. Right now, we need to get you out of there. Okay? I'll meet you at the vehicle in Hangar 56. But Agent Big Boss, um, <sighs> said to stay. Zack, we've come this far. Leon interrupted. We can't explain. We can explain everything to GIB later. We can't explain it now. Besides, you're the one who said the hollow projector had something to do with whatever GIB is planning. So don't, um, you want to find out what it says? Oh, Zach couldn't believe it. For once, it was, um, Leon making him do the dangerous thing. I'm shutting down the power on your floor, said Leon. Get ready to run. Okay. And tomorrow we'll read Chapter 8. This is Bluebell. Thank you for listening, kind listeners. Please subscribe. And do tune in tomorrow. We've only got two chapters to go. Thank you so much. Good evening. Bye-bye.